guys and welcome to my channel and today we are doing a build so we're doing a nightclub build tonight and um by the way this is <laughs> this is now like the third time i've tried recording this video the first time i couldn't get uh, my microphone to work right and now i just ended up discovering that the second recording i made which means i recorded the entire thing and now i'm going to talk about completely different things from the first two videos <laughs> For the first two times I tried this. Uh, but anyway, I ended up finding out it recorded off of my um, webcam and not off my really expensive microphone that I bought for this kind of thing. And so this this is going to drive me freaking batty. Going to drive me insane. But it's fixed and it won't do it again. <laughs> so I'm excited for that. Um, so... Like I said, we're building a nightclub in San Michino. Um, it's my first nightclub I've built. I think it's one of the, oh, I wouldn't say it's the first community lot I've built. I've built a couple, I've built a, like a restaurant and I've built, uh, I'm trying to remember what else I've built. I know I've built like another community lot, uh, but I normally don't build community lots. Normally I build a lot of, um, I build a lot of residential lots. Um, and then, so, I'm trying to like get this like out of the way because by the way this is one of the videos I had just sitting chilling on my hard drive it was just chilling like a villain I guess anyway so I decided it was time to start going through what I had on my computer start download well not downloading but start like editing it start getting it uploaded get it off of there figure out what else I have left um, I only have a couple of videos left that have not been uploaded. Um, this is one of them. I also have just recently made a commons slash dorm, especially with Discover University coming out. Um, Discover University is only a couple days away now. And so it'll probably be like a day <laughs> when this gets uploaded, if it's not already out. It will probably already be out by the time that this finally gets uploaded. Um, but I have already made a shell for a dorm and a commons and stuff like that. So I'm very, very excited. I'm just waiting for the game pack to be able to, or the expansion pack. It's not a game pack. An expansion pack for the expansion pack to come out. So I can use those items and download them and play with them and enjoy them. And I am super stoked. Um, this is like the most excited I've been with The Sims in a long time. Normally, like... Like, the last, like, couple months, I've just been kind of like, meh, it's whatever. Um, I mean, Realm of Magic had some really nice items, but I honestly don't know why I bought it. I know myself better than that. I know I don't like occult sims. And it's, there's nothing wrong with occult sims, but I'm just, I'm generally not a big fan of them. Um, so, I normally don't play as them. In fact, I haven't even ever played as aliens. Like, I have get to work and I've never played with aliens. I've never been to 6am. Like, honestly, y'all should be surprised that I have a vampire thing on my channel right now. <laughs> Not that I've uploaded any videos recently. Although, a video will be coming up here very, very soon. So, just keep an eye out for that because it, it was already recorded. So, I might as well get it off my hard drive and move on. So, uh, but how you guys doing? How you been? Um, are you guys excited for university? I'm excited for university. Uh, I've been excited for university. As soon as like the teasers started coming out, I started getting really excited. Um, although, to be honest, like because I'm tired, I'm tired of being disappointed. I did try to like keep my hopes kind of low, my expectations kind of low, knowing that this is a possibility that this is something that could disappoint greatly if it's not good. Um, from all the gameplay videos I've seen, all the teasers and trailers I've seen, it looks really good. I'm really excited to get it. So, I mean, maybe maybe it could outrank The Sims 2 University. It's the Sims 2 University is literally my favorite pack ever. And I mean ever. Of all the Sim packs. I've played 1, 2, 3, and now 4. I've played them all. And Sims 2 University is still my favorite pack. Now, there are some components of The Sims 2 University that aren't in The Sims 4 University, to be fair. But, uh, still, I'm really excited. I'm really hopeful. Although, trying not to get my hopes up too high, because I don't want to be extremely let down. But, 
I'm really excited for it. So anyway, this could be a nightclub that you could put down in your college town if that's what you were interested in. I think it's a 20 by 30 lot. Um, it's currently, currently it fits in right where Planet Honey Pop is currently in San Michino. So in case you're interested in downloading it, that's where I intended for it to go. Um, this is, if you couldn't tell from the title, called Sims Le Lounge. And I have a broken headphone, not that that matters to you. Um, I discovered it was broken earlier today, so I can only use one here headphone at the moment. Um, until I either glue this one back together or I, uh, like, toss them and I find a new pair. It was pretty cheap, though, so. I mean, I can get pretty cheap earbuds now, so thank goodness. Thank goodness technology has come a long way. Um, the bathrooms are essentially the same. They're just real, they're simple bathrooms. Clearly they were made before Discovery University because I made my own stalls. Although... Now that I've been thinking about it, even with the stalls that are coming with the sim, with, with Discover University, there's a possibility I may not use them all the time. I may just continue to make my own stalls, partially because this is kind of annoying with what I saw with how large they were. With how large they are, it's a little, it's a little ridiculous. But welcome to The Sims 4, where everything is three times bigger than it needs to be. And at least we can joke and we can have fun and talk about that and enjoy the space and the time and... I mean, it's whatever. I mean, it is what it is. It's just kind of a fact of life that we've come to know from The Sims 4. <laughs> I tried to get these candles to work. I wanted these candles in this build to work so bad, but I... I just went with smaller candles because the other ones, they weren't gonna, they were too big to slot onto there and then I tried to use the red shelf to get them to the right height and then I realized they would just be falling off. They would sit right on the edge. It really wouldn't make any sense. So, um, but the way that this nightclub is set up, so in case you're interested more about the build than less about me talking about Discover University or anything, uh, there is uh, a karaoke room downstairs, like a private area, and then there is a big old karaoke uh, thing upstairs with a photo studio. There is two bars in here. If you were wondering why you kept seeing one bar, but then the bar looked really different. Um, maybe I cut out a little too much. I'm not sure at the moment. Uh, we'll just have to go with it for right now. <laughs> um, but I put in the piano there. So in case there's like a night where somebody just wants to come in and just play the piano, like put some soft music on instead of, you know, like a raging nightclub with that big old DJ booth, you know. So I tried to keep it kind of dark because that's generally how nightclubs are. They're usually very dark and very dim. Um, you just can't see a lot. So I tried to keep the light to the most important areas, a.k.a. outside, behind the bar, the bathrooms, that kind of thing. Because that's usually where the places are usually dark. So that's what I tried to stick with. There's food stalls outside in case you're interested. Um, there's also little lights above the like seating areas over there. And I tried to use more like the studio lights for a lot of the lighting just because it made a lot of sense. Because uh, it kind of helped diffuse the light a lot. Um, there's some lighting outdoors. Um, and here we are at the upstairs bar. And oh my god, trying to find curtains is a nightmare. What I want from the Sims team is to organize the curtains by length. Like that would be like my biggest thing. If they could do that, that would be amazing. Mm. Um, anyway, we're about to go into the tour here, so as soon as we get there, and yeah, there we are. So here is the outside of the building. Um, you can see all those beautiful lights we put up. You can see that big balcony up top. And then I do hit play. This build has been play tested. Um, I believe the photo studio works. And I, as far as I remember, the spot under the stairs, like where those benches are really super close together, that works as well along with all the other stuff in here as well. So I'm 99% I'm sure that the photo studio works. I'm pretty sure, it just, it looks kind of weird because your Sims don't generally stand for picture or they don't generally sit for pictures, they typically stand. So it's one of those that it's kind of hard to do that. But I kind of want it to look a little decorated. So, so when your Sims come out, they can have a uh, picture to remind them so obviously this is the big old dance floor you got to see the private karaoke room that little seated area I was talking about and then we go straight upstairs I mean yeah you can see the little seated area through the stairs but it's whatever I actually think it looks kind of cool 
Uh, but here is the upstairs with that karaoke room. I'm not gonna show you both bathrooms just because the bathrooms look identical. They're just reversed. Um, it's real basic, just to two of the regular toilets in the first two and then the talking toilet in the last one. And then um, we'll see that little seated area and then we'll take a look outside. So here's that little seating area I was talking about that's upstairs. So this is like a little private area with a table um, so you can set your drinks down on. Not that Sims actually do that. That'd be really cool if they could, but... <laughs> uh, here's a second bar upstairs. That little photo studio I was talking about. And then there's like a little seated area there. So in case your Sims waiting for somebody else to take their picture or whatever. Um, and here's that beautiful outside area that they can now see all of Mishuno around. So, San Mishuno, excuse me. Um, so anyway, that pretty much wraps it up there, guys. Uh, definitely leave your comments, your feedback, and your suggestions all down below. And how do you guys feel about uh, people building community lots? Do you, do you download a lot of community lots? Um, and if so, what kind of community lots are you always looking for? Um, I'm always interested in building new and more things. And of course, all my social media is listed down in the description box below, including my Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook, and of course, my gallery ID. We're live on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Love it if you could stop in. As always, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you did like it, don't forget to subscribe so you can get notified when I upload new videos. And of course, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.